Hi, everyone. Today in this video, we are talking about the property of a fluid called viscosity. You know, fluid is someone which flows from one place to another place. So under the fluids, there will be liquids which flows. There will be gases that flows from one place to another place because of loose molecular force of attraction because of a long distance between them. When a fluid is moving, there is an opposition to the relative motion. There is an opposition to the relative motion within the fluid. That's property of the fluid is called something like viscosity. So why does that relative opposition comes? Opposition to the relative motion comes in a fluid. That's why, that's what we are trying to explain here. And we are also trying to find out how do you measure that opposition. It obviously depends on the nature of that fluid. How do you measure it? That's the point that we would like to talk here, right? Let us consider a fluid. This is whatever fluid is, like water, anything. Then this fluid is full of molecules. So when you consider one molecule, that molecule has a kind of force of attraction on the neighboring molecules because these are the molecules of similar nature. That kind of force of attraction is called coercive force of attraction. So this molecule attracts its surrounding molecules and while the fluid is moving, all these molecules move together like a set, like a groove, like a layer. This as if like you all won't go out of the classroom when the bell is done, right? How do you do? You go with your friends because you are well acquainted with them. Similarly, this molecule is acquainted with some other molecules because of the proximity and all that molecules move together like this. This molecule, this set of molecules moves together. They move with a velocity. Let us say that velocity is V1. Then let's come to the next set of molecules. This is the next set of molecules. These molecules again move together like a set, like a group. But as the first layer is moving forward, this is the first layer, as the first layer is moving forward, that first layer pushes the second layer backward. So the second layer moves with a velocity v2 that is a bit less than v1. That's a relative opposition. For an action, there is a reaction. Therefore, while the first layer moving forward, it pushes the second layer. Let's come to the third layer of the fluid. This is the third layer. While this third layer is moving forward, it experiences opposition due to the first layer also experience opposition due to the second layer. So the third layer even moves with a velocity lesser than that of the second layer. So it moves with a velocity V3 that's even less than that of V1. Let us consider the next layer, the fourth layer, this fourth layer, this fourth layer even will have a velocity V4 that is less than that of its upper layer velocity V3 because this fourth layer experiences opposition due to the first layer, second layer and third layer. So all the upper layers apply the opposition on the lower layers and hence the fluid lower layers becomes slow, slow and slow and finally the bottom most layer comes to a kind of a almost like a kind of a standstill. It will have it's a very less, very small kind of a velocity. So the upper layers while moving in a river, you can experience that the lower layers are actually moving slower and slower. And the bottom most part of the water in the river is almost having a very small velocity and hence it will have a lesser temperature and compared with the upper layers. This you can experience when you get into a river for a bath. You know, if you are going into the river, you can see your feet part will be felt more colder than your knee part and the thigh part. Why like so? Because of this reason, the lower layers are moving less and hence their temperature is less. So they appear like more colder. This property of opposition to the fluid flow as the fluid is moving like set of layers is called viscosity. So how do you measure this viscosity? 
we call that force that is opposing relative motion is called as a viscous force. Viscous force F is directly proportional to the area of the fluid flow. Larger the area, more the number of the layers, more the opposition and it goes to the bottom, down and down. That's also directly proportional to difference between the velocities of layers. So if the velocity of the layers between first and second V1 and V2 is more, obviously the opposition is more because there is more action, automatically more reaction. That is again inversely proportional to distance between the layers. This is the distance between the two layers. What happens when the distance becomes more is the influence of the layer on that becomes less. What do you mean by what I mean by that is on this third layer, on this third layer, this is third layer, on this fourth layer, there is influence of third layer, second layer, and first layer. But on the fourth layer, there will be highest influence of third layer because it's neighbor to it. The force of attraction or the force of opposition due to the third layer is more, second layer is little less. Influence of the first layer on the fourth layer is very, very less. More the distance, less the influence. So these are the factors on which frictional uh, viscous force depends. Frictionally, viscous force can be treated like a frictional force, similar to the frictional force of solids. So this, if I combine all these, viscous force is directly proportional to area, directly proportional difference between the velocity of layers, inversely proportional to the distance between the layers. We can eliminate that proportionality and put a constant called coefficient of viscosity. Careful, that's a proportionality constant that doesn't depend on, on any of these things. Rather, it depends on the nature of the fluid. That proportionality constant is called coefficient of viscosity. It's a measure of nature of that fluid's viscosity. More the vis coefficient of viscosity, more the viscous nature of that fluid is. For example, if you pour water and oil on a floor, you can see water slips out quite quickly, quite easily, quite freely, flows quite freely when compared with oil. Why? Because Oil has higher viscosity, higher coefficient of viscosity. Its viscous force is more, its viscous nature is more. So, eta is a measure of viscous nature of the fluid. So, how do you measure that eta? You can write a unit. Eta can be written like viscous force by dV by dx. So, force is measured with a unit Newton. Difference between the uh, velocity, I mean, uh, this directly, so I have missed something. Viscous force, coefficient of viscosity is, I have missed area here, yeah. Here also there is area, so viscous force is force by area and dv by dx, Newton by area is meter square, dv by, dv is change in velocity, that is meter per second by dx, dx come to the numerator, dx is the distance, that's again meter. So this meter and this meter can be cancelled. So the unit of coefficient of viscosity is Newton per meter square. This come to the numerator. Second, you can say Newton per meter square is a unit of uh, uh, pressure. That's something like Pascal in SI system, force per area. Pascal second is the SI unit of coefficient of viscosity. If you want to write CGS unit, you can do that. The place of Newton, dyne by centimeter square and second. In the name of a scientist, Poise Lee, who has contributed a lot for the fluid dynamics, the unit is called as Poise. So you can find a conversion factor that uh, 1 Pascal second is 10 poise. I am leaving that calculation for you. Please do that. If you are unable to do that, let me know. I will do a video for that. It's a part of units and dimensions that we have done in the beginning of the uh, content itself. You can check there. For a conversion, you can use um, a principle of homogeneity to find out. Yeah, okay, let's write its dimensional formula to force. Viscous force is eta, area, dv by dx. Force as a dimension formula, ma, mlt power minus 2. For eta, we want to find out. Area L square, change in velocity, velocity, 
LT power minus 1 dx is length. So L and L gets cancelled. So the coefficient of viscosity dimensional formula is MLT power minus 2 by L square by T power minus 1. So M L power minus 1, T power minus 1 if I simplify. That's how we find the uh, units and dimensions of coefficient of viscosity. And the central point is while the fluids are moving, there's a opposition inside. That's measured with a property called viscosity. And to measure that viscosity, we have a term called coefficient of viscosity. That's it for the day. I will continue it further in the next video. Thank you for watching.